everybody, this is the Java Kid with another JavaScript for Kids video. Today, in this JavaScript video, we'll be looking into the JavaScript console to use a few simple console commands. So, let's jump right into it. What you want to do here is right click, inspect element, of course as always. Go over here to console because we will be using it now. And open up the JavaScript scratch pad, which is this icon right over here. So, I just open it up. Put it on desktop. And okay, so what we'll be doing today is pretty simple. We're going to be using this thing right here. This is the JavaScript console, and it is used for uh, some console commands that we'll be learning today. So those console commands are going to be console.log, which logs something to the console, console.error, which self generates an error to the console and console.warn, which generates a warning to the console. So let's go to our scratch pad here, delete this generated text, and uh, let's get into it. Okay, so the first command is going to be called console.log. This command is actually used very, uh, quite, quite, quite a lot, and um, we're going to be using it right now. So as you would expect, it is console.log. Put in those parentheses. Don't forget the semicolon, guys. If you do, you never know what might happen. The world could explode. Something could happen. So never forget to put the parentheses. Oh, sorry, the semicolon at the end of your JavaScript code. Okay. Anyways, um, we're going to go back into our uh, stuff, and uh, so here it is. Here is our command right here console.log and let me take you step by step this uh, tells the console that we want to do something dot log log something onto the console so what do we want to log well I kinda want to log um, R I P Han Solo cuz it was pretty sad guys I didn't think Kylo Ren would kill him anyways um Back from my Star Wars fantasies, uh, we're going to press uh, run, go over here, and of course it says RIP Han Solo right here. Over here, this is our console.log, and it logs it to the console. So let's clear this right over here. And just for a simple uh, note, you can also do console.log over here. Um, you could also do it right here. It doesn't really matter where you do it. Uh, I prefer Scratchpad, personally. So... Of course, it just pops up right there. Delete that up. <laughs> Wait, delete that up? <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> Anyways, next console command is going to be console.error. So this um, this is just something to show to you guys, cause of course on later uh, we will probably be having a bunch of errors, and don't worry, that is all part of the coding process, making errors, debugging your code. So um, I just want to sh to show you guys what an error on the console looks like, so you could be uh, sort of more aware of it, and uh, you would understand it and be able to debug your code better when it comes to the time. So. Let's go to console.error. You don't need to put anything inside of it because, of course, it's an error. And let's run this. And that is what an error looks like, guys. So it has this bold red uh, highlight. And, of course, it's eye drawing because it is an error. And uh, if you see this in your code, it obviously means you have an error. One thing to know is, uh, one thing useful to use actually is, um, this shows or hides your uh, the message and why the, the code went wrong or why it popped up an error. So right now, of course, we generated the error, so it's going to say anonymous. It doesn't know why the error was caused. So, um, yeah, and what I just wanted to make you guys aware of is just to watch out for this error. Um, this kind of icon. And the last command is going to be I icon? No. No. The last command is going to be console.warn. So this usually pops up when uh, 
you want to warn someone and so of course you can put uh, uh, something or whatever text you want inside of the console.error or the console.warn uh, let's see let's put error in here and in here uh, I have something good <laughs> or something um, you could put a uh, text there but here's just my text I'm gonna run this and I'll show you what a warning looks like and what's some text alright so this is what a warning looks like obviously you already know what a console.log and an error looks like so this is what a warning looks like it has this triangle thing that obviously symbolizes it's part of the Illuminati and um, it has our text right here warning you are entering restricted JavaScript for kids territory parents beware and that's our text right there uh, we just put it inside of these parentheses so yes guys these are the three console commands that we are learning in this episode if you did enjoy this video guys please do leave a big fat thumbs up and if you are really awesome subscribe to my channel anyways that will do it for today guys and keep experimenting with these kinds of codes and keep coding guys i will see you in the next one bye